Hey guys, this is Nate Jackson and we're on to the next tutorial video and we're going to cover the features of the graph search, the OG original gangster graph search or the open graph graph search, whichever you prefer. Uh, we're going to, uh, but first I want to talk about some of the features, a few things about Lead Scout. Let's say for example you are in a situation where you're running Lead Scout and you have a uh, couple hundred groups that you want to scout about a particular topic and then something happens where your computer restarts say for example if Microsoft does one of those unexpected updates that requires a computer restart in the middle of your, you doing something and so your computer restarts and you're running Lead Scout and it just automatically restarts well if you're a hundred groups into a 500 group list you don't want to have to restart Lead Scout and start from the beginning of that list well I've created a file in the folder called Lead Scout and you go to FBVA, then you go to Lead Scout, then you go to Groups to Scout. And in that folder are the lists of every fi file, the files that, uh, that every file that you've run through the Lead Scout uh, at the, with all of the files that you've already scouted deleted. So if you need to resume your place in the Lead Scout, you just go to that file. And I'm going to make it a little bit more descriptive. Right now, it's the name of the file is the actual name of the list, which is the name of the keyword that you search for in Group Finder. So, but I'm going to change it to where it names it Lead Scout uh, dash Resume dash Keyword, so it's even more descriptive, and you know exactly what it is. But you know to look for it in the Lead Scout Groups to Scout folder in your FBVA folder. So, just an example, we just ran a. a, a Lead Scout with Eddie Murphy. So this is the file folder, the file that uh, has our current place in the sequence, and it has 104 groups in it, remaining to post, to remaining to scout, and our original list, which is in our groups folder. Uh, let's see what that has. That we started with 112, so we must have scouted eight groups. So, the, if you when you want to resume your place in the lead scout, just go to lead scout groups to scout, and there will be the list of the files that you've already scouted. Now, on to OG graph search. I want to use an example of how this can come in very handy. Let's say, for example, you sell tickets, you sell your promoter, and you sell concert tickets. Let's say there's an Eminem concert coming to Los Angeles. Uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks, and you want to find people who are very likely to buy M&M &M concert tickets. You live in Los Angeles, the concert's in Los Angeles, and you want to search for people who are in their early 20s and uh, live in Los Angeles and like m and So you would search for people, and then when you find those people, you will run a Facebook ad uh, saying, hey, are you looking for Eminem concert tickets for the concert coming up in a couple of weeks or something like that? So people who follow Eminem and lives in Los Angeles, California, and graduated in 20 say 2010 that'll make them about 21 years old so that is going to populate the facebook search menu facebook search bar and then it's going to run that search and pull all of the people who meet that search so it's looking at people who like m m and live in los angeles california and graduated 2010 and here we go so here's this first person lives in los angeles california went to wherever in 2010 and likes Eminem. How about that? So now we're updating. Uh, 12 lives in Los Angeles, likes Eminem, graduated college in 2010, so he's like 25 or whatever. Uh, lives in Los Angeles, likes Eminem, 2010. Lives in Los Angeles, likes Eminem, 2010. From college. I could have specified high school and been even more specific. Uh, high school 2010 likes Eminem, Los Angeles, California. So we're we're finding exactly who we're looking for, and we you can use that to really target them in your advertising. Uh, you can be ultra specific. You can you can build that search out uh, with 
very uh, descriptive uh, terms to identify. You can identify them by age. You can find just women or just men, or you can find people who live in a, a certain country or a certain state. Uh, you can. It, it's very, very descriptive. I'd recommend that you really learn about uh, the graph search and its capabilities because it, it can really help you to target your leads even more so than Lead Scout. You won't necessarily get more results than Lead Scout, but you're going to get a lot more targeted results than Lead Scout because you can ve create very, very descriptive, explicit searches. So you can be very, very descriptive. So let's see what the results look like once we do that. So we're going to go ahead and stop this search so I can open the file and not get an error because it's constantly writing to the file. So right now we're stopping at, I guess, 140 to 142 people. OG graph search are going to be, those results are going to be in people for right now because it's limited to finding people at the moment, but I'm going to update it to find groups and posts and pages. But right now it's in the version one, we're limited to people. So we're going to open this in calc. And right now I'm giving you the UID, the email address, and the profile. And eventually, I'm going to, very soon, I'm going to add the name and the first name, just like the lead scout. But we, we have it here. This is, this is who we just found. So it's looking very good. And we're going to, uh, we have a little bit of a glitch here. But that's not a big deal. It's probably because I stopped it. It's because I stopped it in the middle of, this, of cycling through, through a list of 12. But, yeah, so... It's uh it does a good job and we're so if I let it run till it, it does it in multiples of twelve and then it writes everything. So had I done that it would have filled in the other two columns just because of the sequence that, of how it works. And so but that you basically get the UID, you get the email, the Facebook email, which you can use to, to get to their real email email address, and I have the a uh, profile URL. So if you wanted to uh, like uh, send friend requests to all the people in Los Angeles who graduated in 2010 and like Eminem, you now have the power to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, <clears throat> if you are considering getting getting yourself a copy of FB Virtual Assistant, I uh, just want you to remember there's only one place that you can get FB Virtual Assistant, and that's at createautomate.com forward slash FBVA. I just want to make sure that you're, because <clears throat> there, there are a lot of similar sounding uh, products out there, and uh, we just want to make sure that if you're looking for the FB Virtual Assistant that gives you the group gorilla module, as well as the party crasher group joiner, as well as the post perfect group poster the OG graph search, and the lead scout, as well as all of the other uh, features that are coming down the line. Uh, you want to make sure that you go to createautomate.com forward slash FBVA, just like you see here. That's the only place that you can, that you can get these features. <clears throat> right now, today's March 1st, and we're having a March Madness sale. We just... Uh, we just launch, launched today. We we were in pre-launch in February, and to, today is the first month of our launch. And we are running a March Madness sale. We sold uh, quite a few units in February at pre-order pricing, and we're going to start <clears throat> start to gradually impre increase the price. So we're we have 31 days in March, and uh, we're going to be running through. And there are only a few left at each price. And once all of the these are gone at these prices. The then the price is going to go start going up by ten dollars uh, for the next batch, or uh, in some cases, uh, enterprise is going to go up by twenty dollars each time <clears throat> it runs out of a batch. So we are looking for a way to get as many people uh, involved with FB Virtual Assistant uh, for a reasonable price, but the price. Um, excuse me for the price is always reasonable, but for as 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 lower prices makes sense. And but the the price is not going to last. Uh, this is not a gimmick. These prices do go up, 
Uh, and there's two more left at at that price, three more left at that price, three more left at that price. And once those hit zero, then it, it really does cycle to the next price. So uh, it's not a gimmick. Now, uh, just keep in mind that there are other features. We've gone through the group gorilla, the party crasher, the post perfect, the secret test group service. I showed you that service uh, when I was posting to my, uh, when I was showing you the post perfect demo. And we have uh, Lead Scout, and I've shown you that, and the original Gangster Graph Search. So, uh, the features we have features that are coming down the line that I'm working on uh, the Friend Genie. You're going to be able to uh, send friend requ requests to people that you find through the Lead Scout and through the OG Graph Search. Message Wizard will allow you to send email messages to people. Uh, through their Facebook email address that we showed you how to get through the Lead Scout and the OG Graph Search. Uh, we extract UIDs from groups already, and we're going to expand that expand that to pages. I'm going to add remote access so that you're not bound to using a Windows platform, but it will be a, a web-based application where you can use any sort of uh, device with Internet access and uh, run FB Virtual Assistant from a server that I'm hosting. Uh, Multi-threading and UI enhancements, that's just a fancy way of saying I'm going to make it faster and better and prettier. And anything else that I ever come up with, when you purchase FB Virtual Assistant now, you are grandfathered in and you will always get lifetime, up, you'll get lifetime updates for any feature that I ever add. Uh, so <clears throat> you want to make sure that you get FB Virtual Assistant as soon as possible. Because, like I showed you here, these prices are going up when those quantities are gone. And it's not, I'm going to just repeat it and reiterate that that's not a gimmick. Uh, these prices are going up by $10 or $20, depending on which item you purchase, or which item is purchased. So you get that discount, and you also get a 30-minute Skype consultation with me if you have any, any uh, issues or want to just get a game plan on how to best use the software. Uh, you get a 30-day guarantee uh, to try it out, break it, do whatever. If you don't like it, if you don't like the color or whatever, if you don't like it, you can get your money back. And uh, so that's really about it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I look forward to helping you with your Facebook marketing. And I'm going to go ahead and sign out. This is Nate Jackson, and I will talk to you soon.